deal that we're working on for military equipment, helicopters, and the like. We have uh, met before. We have developed a great relationship. And we look forward to our discussion today. Uh, very important. But again, especially as it relates to terrorism. And that's terrorism here and terrorism all over the world. It's a hotbed, and we're going to be stopping that. Also, we've had very serious problems with Christians who have been murdered, killed in Nigeria. We're going to be working on that problem and working on that problem very, very hard because we can't allow that to happen. Mr. President, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. I thank you, Mr. President, uh, very much for inviting me to a great honor. I'm very grateful for it. That in this team, it's a main issue. We are very grateful to the United States for agreeing to give us the aircraft we asked for in spare parts. We are even more grateful for the physical presence of the United States uh, uh, military uh, section that go to our institutions in Nigeria and train them and go to the front in the Northeast to see how they are performing as a result of the training given to them. So the commitment of the United States in uh, uh, get rid of terrorism across the world, we are first-hand experience of that, and we are very grateful for it. Um, the problem about the um, uh, cattle rearers and herders uh, in, in Nigeria is a very long historical thing. But uh, the state most concerned, uh, they knew that the Nigerian herders never carried anything more than a stick and occasionally a machete to cut down foliage and give it to their animals. These ones are carrying AK-47. So I don't think um, people should underrate what happened in Libya. Uh, 43 years of Gaddafi, people were recruited from the Sahel. They were taught nothing other than to shoot and kill. Uh, with the demise of Gaddafi, uh, they moved uh, to their countries and to their regions, and they carried away with them the only experience they have uh, in training, using weapons. And uh, that's what uh, is aggravating the situation. Uh, we are doing our best uh, to make sure we have uh, uh, stop the cross borders and so on, and uh, to get uh, the weapons, uh, proliferation small arms weapons in the region checked. But um, it's going to take time, and uh, the action by uh, United States in trying to see the end of ISIS has helped us a lot. Because the Boko Haram in Nigeria at one time made a statement that they were loyal to ISIS. Uh, now that uh, ISIS have virtually gone with the help of the United States, we are very grateful for that. And we are sure that we are stabilizing the situation of security in Nigeria. Thank you. We have very much decimated ISIS. Much has taken place over the last 12 months. But Boko Haram has been terrible. And uh, how did you do? with the young women that were kidnapped, how is that going? Uh, the Chibo girls and uh, the Dufchi one. The Dufchi, the Chibo one was before we came, 2014. Uh, we had only a number of them. Uh, we recovered about 30 of them. Uh, but the Dufchi one, the 106 that were kidnapped, we got uh, 100 back, uh, four died, one is still held in captivity. And uh, we are very grateful to the uh, United Nations uh, uh, organization that is uh, uh, acting as in between, between us and the kidnappers. And uh, we haven't given up. We are trying to get everybody back uh, to, the, uh, to join their families and their schools. A terrible problem. Yeah. Mr. President, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much, everybody. Right, let's go. Make your way out. Thank you. Thank you. Make your way out. Let's go.